Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome back for more K Talk content. I'm Adriana. And I'm Randy. And today we're going to talk about uh, summer jams, basically the songs that we don't skip on our playlist when we're in the car or when we're just jamming out and they're good summer fun songs. So why don't you start us out with some on your list? This is really tough, by the way. Yes, it was very hard for me. Like last night, my sister is also someone who watches K-dramas and listens to K-pop music with me. So we were having this long discussion about different songs and um, all the way from like variety shows have introduced me to yeah. a lot of different music, um, especially like Running Man and mm-hmm. shows with UJ Sook, um, like classic songs from the 90s um, with like DJ Jock, Summer Story, Cool's Woman on the Beach and Do, Do, they, I think they pronounce it Deuce. Um, like in summer, those are some of the ones that are kind of like that show up again and again in variety shows during yeah. the summer, and so they've become kind of synonymous with summer. Summer, yeah, for me. Um, but like some of my favorites, um, like Too Many Ones, Falling in Love it has like kind of a reggae feel. Mm-hmm. Um, I enjoy a Zico, any song, um, pretty much anything that Zico does. Apparently, I'm a big Zico fan. Um, so, like, Soulmate with IU, and then last summer he did something with Rain called Summer Hate. So, um, those are some of my favorites. And then also, um, kind of a, a, a faster one that was released last summer um, is Jesse's Nunu Nana. Oh, I haven't heard that one. I like Jesse. Yeah. Yeah, it's really like... Oh my like, God, I have to listen to this. <laughs> it's everywhere. Because one of her songs is on my playlist. Is it Well, I mean, obviously, there's a lot of her songs on my playlist, but there's one that I just cannot skip. You know? Oh, okay. Well, she has a new one that just came out. It obviously wasn't released in the summer, but mm-hmm. um, it's more of a, a, a rock song. Oh, okay. Um, what Type of X... Um, so that one, it. I really enjoy that one. Too. I have to revisit Jesse. I haven't, I haven't listened to her in a while, but I mean, my list goes on and on and on. So, um, All right, so let's hear some I'll of yours. I'll start some of mine and then we'll <laughs> go back to you. Cause I, my list is really long. Like, you know me, I am like the biggest BTS fan. One of the biggest BTS fans out there, uh, you know, competing with the rest of ARMY. But I tried really hard <laughs> not to make this all about BTS. But I will talk about like my top favorite BTS songs that I just cannot skip. And one of my favorite like anthem summer jam songs is going to be So What? Oh my God, that song just gets me so pumped up and I just crank it in the car mm. um microcosmos is like both a summer jam and like the so full song that just gets me going and i really love that one uh cypher part four. Oh my god i love this thing and i'm just sitting there jamming out to it waylon 52 uh attack on bangtang uh paldo kangan i believe it's pronounced the sweet night even though this is not technically like a summer jam this is like a really slow ballad but Mm. i cannot skip the song his voice in this is just like so mesmerizing and i really enjoy the song so i don't care if it's a sweet slow song i will crank it in my stereo until everybody's ears are bleeding yeah like we were talking about what makes a summer song and you you said like an anthem something that gets your blood pumping but for me it's also like Something that you can chill to. Wind in my hair. I'm like driving in the car, just like singing along, like feeling all, you know, you're just feeling it. You're just feeling great. Yeah. Um, And then it's going to be telepathy from their latest um, album, as well as dis-ease. Those two, I really enjoy. They're like songs that are are just, they're so great. And then the last one is going to be inner child. Honestly, almost all BTS songs, it's very rare that I'll skip a BTS song, but these are the ones that, like, if you try to skip this song, <laughs> there's going to be some trouble. <laughs> you know, yeah, all right. Get out of my car. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, you know, <laughs> driver rules. <laughs> We're going to stop. And you're going to get out. And I'm yep. going to listen to this. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> exactly. I will kick somebody out of the car. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> And my car is a Jeep, and it's got hot, high tires, so you're going to be falling, like, three oh, feet. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so what are some other ones you have on your list? Um, Mama Moves Hip 
Oh. Uh, Black Pink Whistle. Um, mm. Epic High. Uh, I like um, some of their new stuff is great, uh, but one of my favorites is Don't Hate Me. Um, Stephanie, my sister, introduced me to a new song by Minnow mm-hmm. um, that I really enjoy called Runaway. Mm, it's I a kind it. of a rap song, so that one is kind of one that you can sort of pop along yeah. to. Um, and then also another song that my sister introduced me to by Act On Musician is Give Love. Give Love. Mm. Yeah. I have to I'll have to like grab some of these songs from you because my my playlist tends to be very biased towards uh, quite not as well, <laughs> you know you know it is very hard for me not to talk about G Dragon yeah, at all. So. I, I, did, I did bring him into my playlist. You know, like Big Bang, Sober, and yeah, Crooked, and Ooh, yeah. like there are if if I could I could talk like twenty minutes just about G Dragon. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. I'm. Well, <laughs> in terms of Big Bang and like G Dragon, I would say for me it was uh, you know the ones you listed plus Baby. I love that song. That song just mm. like I can just crank that. And then um, G Dragon's Coup d'état. That one mm. is like ridiculously good. I love that song. Um, but I also brought in some other artists, believe it or not. Whoa. I actually listen to other artists Whoa. other than BTS. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys know I'm also a big Seventeen fan, but um, so I'll talk about a couple of theirs, and then we'll we'll switch to you, and then we'll switch back to me. So for Seventeen, I love Clap, very nice, of course. Uh, Pretty You. Fearless um, and Oh My are some of my favorite like Seventeen songs. They're just they have such great voices and they're so kooky and I've seen them on stage and it's amazing the way they can choreograph all mm. 13 members on stage, but they do it so well. Um, so, yeah, I, I enjoy a lot of their music, but these are like the top ones that I will not skip. Mm. I did say it when I was looking last night, um, I was doing some trying to find some contemporary songs. Um, uh, 17's My My. Mm, I mm-hmm. really like that one. That one's well. good. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't have much more on my list, but I do have to say, you know, um, CL's done some stuff recently on her YouTube channel. I did see some of that. And um, like a few, again, it's sort of like the whole wind in your hair, um, windows down in your car driving, like her um, one and only. And then she also has this song. Uh, Paradox mm. um, and then Done. Uh, I really like all of those. Yeah. And then, you know, like. Done is, is, is really great. I love that song. I absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. That song is so good. That one, you, you, can, you can dance along to that one too. Yeah. But my awkward dancing, please ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably, and then probably, like, this may be, because most Americans, when they think of Psy, they think of Gangnam style. Yeah. And um, he he has so much more. He does. Um, he really does. And he, you know, there are a lot of songs that are similar to Gangnam Style, but some of my favorite ones are sort of those. They're a little bit slower, but they're still like things that you can dance along to. So um, like Passionate Goodbye and Euro Seventy Seven, which actually has um, a couple of different rappers like featuring mm-hmm. on that including um Kangeri, who used to be on running man and then like um he did one with tableau called auto reverse um and then of course there's, there's like new face and gentlemen yeah. and um he did also did <laughs> there's one that he did with gecko who's another rapper called uh, Odyssey Swag, so... Oh, I haven't heard that one. I have to check that one out. <laughs> just because of the, the right, name. Right, the name just right. gives it away. Like, oh, this is going to be good. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, like, I appreciate his um, talent, and I do think that, you know, there's so much more out there than just than Gangnam, Gangnam Style. style so. Yeah, I, I do enjoy some of his music, but, like, you know, Gangnam Style and, like... Um, Oh my God! You just said gentleman. the name of the song. Not gentleman. The other one, new face. Yeah. Just those two like got so played out that you know I got tired of them really quickly because they were just like everywhere for mm. like you know the hot minute. Mm. Um. So I kind of 
you know, got tired of them. Even now, like, you know, you play that song, Gangnam Style, and everybody starts doing the dance and stuff. And I'm just like, uh, okay, I'm done with this. I'm done. New Face, I can still stand. But, um, well, It's Art is actually probably one of my favorite ones. Which one? It's Art. Oh, I haven't heard that one yet. Yeah. So I'll have, to, I'll have to give his other stuff a chance. I just, I don't really have them on my playlist that much. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'll talk about like some outliers that you guys will probably be like, wow, she actually listens to other stuff. <laughs> um, I like Icon a lot. And of course, you know, Love Scenario is like amazing. But I also like Killing Time, Killing Me. Um, I love Twice. So I'm just going to say I love Twice. And then Itsy's Wannabe and Dala Dala. Oh my God, those two songs are just like... They just get me going. Mm. And then um, Zico's uh, Summer Hate and uh, Any Song. Any Song. I any love song any is song. so great. And then Monster X's uh, You Can't Hold My Heart. Oh my God, that one's so good. Mm. We, re- we listened, we talked about this album recently. Is that the English one? Yeah, that's the English okay. one. And off of that album, this song just like, it's so good. And it just reminds me of the 90s for some weird reason, but it's really mm. good. Um, and then Dean's Instagram. I don't know if you've ever heard no. that one. That one's like this really slow, like mellow hip hop jam. And mm. I love that song. It's really good. And then let's see, Exids, I Love You. Okay. That one's really good. Um, To Anyone's Happy, I cannot, like, this song comes on and I am going to crank it and we are going to listen to it. That one is really great. Um, Sisters, uh, Shake It, and I Like That. Those are my top two. And then I have so many songs, I'm sorry. Uh, and then we have uh, Zico Crush and Dean's Bermuda Triangle. I don't know if you've ever heard listen no. to that one. It's really good. It's this really like rappy, hip hoppy song, and I love that one. Um, Pentagon has two songs that I cannot skip, which is Spring Snow and Naughty Boy. Those are amazing. And then there's this like, you know how we all have those secret like guilty pleasure songs? <laughs> mm hmm. There's this one by Keith Ape and Ski Mask the Slump God called A Chew. <laughs> I've never heard of those. That group or that song. Oh my God. This song is like this like crazy rap song, but it's all <laughs> like literally the lyrics are like, um, you know, uh, they're, they're all talking about sneezing and, um, oh, really? you know, a chew and it's about money. And mm. but it's such it's like this guilty pleasure of mine. I absolutely love this song. And as we were talking about Jesse earlier, Jesse's Gucci, mm. that mm-hmm. song. Yeah, that's another like guilty pleasure. I will crank it. And there's another song that I couldn't find. Um I used to have it on my iTunes. Like, I mm-hmm. had iTunes for a long time, and then I just kind of got rid of it. And I ha- forgot that I know the name of the song, but I have no idea who the artist is, and I've been trying to find it for months, honestly. So if any of you guys know this song, please, please, please let me know who the artist was, because there was three rappers, and one was a female, and the name of the song is Undercover. And it's a really amazing song. I absolutely love it, but I cannot remember the artist. So, yeah, Undercover. Mm. So if you guys know, and it is not Ace, because I've seen there's another group called Ace that has a song called Undercover. It's not them. Is that the... Because there was a a group that Unjiwan was in. Mm -hmm. Um, I think this was just a collab. I don't think they were like a group group. I think this was just like a collab. No, it's older. It's got to be a couple years old. Because they had a, like, it was a, a girl and two guys. Um, and I don't remember if that was the name of the song. I don't know. But if anybody out there knows the song, please let me know. And, you know, we both have very long lists when it comes to songs. And obviously, this is probably like a short glimpse into, you know, what we listen to. But if you guys have songs that you guys want to share with us, something that we are not aware of, you know, new songs, old stuff, anything, hit us up on Instagram or on YouTube in the comment section and let us know your favorite Summer Jam songs. Uh, But we'll come back, you know, next month with a lot more K-Talk content. So we will see you then.